Well, Mexico could be on the verge of an economic renaissance. President Obrador has launched an ambitious plan to stimulate economic activity on his side of the border, and the effects of that could spill over onto our side of the border. Here's our Greg Chandler now with a look at the details on that. Greg. Lee, Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador touted his plan at events in border towns last weekend. Now, the plan involves tax cuts, wage hikes, and other stimulus. And economists here look forward to seeing those results. Mexico's new president introduced sweeping economic changes for 43 cities just south of the U.S. border. It starts with doubling the minimum wage. President Andres Manuel López Obrador hopes his plan keeps Mexicans at home. Economic experts think it might work. Some people may decide to stay there. Ahmed Kamara is an associate economics professor at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, specializing in development. He says higher wages, combined with a 10 percent income tax cut, as well as cutting value-added taxes on goods in the region in half, will not only help the Mexican economy, but Americans will also benefit from cheaper prices on Mexican goods. Higher wages, people work more, production goes up. There's more across the border, we get more, more goods, and with the high, lower taxes, uh, cost of production goes down, so overall the flow of goods will be more. Most importantly, these changes may entice some Mexicans living in the U.S. illegally to return to Mexico for a shot at better opportunities. If I'm here and I'm finding it hard to find a job because I don't have a legal status, I don't have a social security card, and I'm doing all these odd jobs, I might go back because over there I have that kind of legal status and I'll get, I'll get a distinct job to do. Now the plan also calls for Mexico's gas prices near the border to drop so they're more in line with American prices. Kamara added an ideal scenario would be for both governments to work together as these changes take effect.